Number 45. Write a balanced equation for each of the following nuclear reactions, and then we have letter A. So in this case, we have to write an equation for bismuth-212 decaying into polonium-212. Okay, so these will be simple, right? All we got to do is write a balanced equation. Now, when we're dealing with nuclear reactions, we're always going to be drawing our balanced equations in the nuclide notation, which means we need those three boxes like this. Now, let's start from the beginning, shall we? They say that bismuth-212 is decaying. So if here is my yield sign, this has to be the bismuth because that's what I'm starting out with. It's decaying into polonium. So let's start off with writing all of our information for bismuth. Now bismuth is Bi, so we're going to put that there. And the 212 that they tell us is always going to be the mass number. Now they have to tell us the mass number because the mass number can change for every atom. Mass numbers, which are the higher numbers of the two numbers in these boxes, the mass number is always going to go on the top. So since they said bismuth 212, I'm going to put a 212 up top here. So we'll say mass number. Or you could say, you know, atomic mass. I don't, you know, for me, the, the wording doesn't matter. But generally, it's a mass number. But the bottom number is always your atomic number. And that is specific for each element. Each element is going to have its own unique atomic number. And they didn't tell me what bismuth's atomic number is. So I got to go on the periodic table to find out what bismuth's atomic number is. And it's the whole number that's found on the periodic tables. So it's not the decimal ones. So for bismuth, I see a big 83. So bismuth is always going to be 83. This one's done. Now we're just going to decay it into the polonium. So I know that this is going to break down into polonium. So let's write out another nucleide notation. And polonium, polonium on the periodic table is PO. They're telling us that the 212, right, polonium 212, that's the mass number. So that's going to go up here, 212. And now what's polonium's atomic number? Well, on the periodic table, polonium is one step up. It's number 84. But now the question is, if we just have this, eh, it's not really balanced. Because when we have to balance nuclear reactions, the mass numbers across the yield sign have to equal, and the sum of the atomic numbers across the yield sign have to equal. Think of this yield sign as like an equal sign. So on the top, we're good. 212 equals 212. But on the bottom, 83 does not equal 84. So we have to add something else to balance the sides out. Now, if you're decaying, right, you're undergoing maybe beta decay, alpha decay, and a decay means that the particle is going to be on your product side. So PP, particle, product side. So we know that I need to add something on my product side to make this equal out. So let's bring in that last uh, nucleide notation. And let's just fill in the numbers. 212 equals 212 plus. Yeah, this one's got to be a 0. And then if I just solve for x, right, 83 equals 84 plus what number? right? If we just do this, 83 equals 84, just to kind of give you an idea, subtract 84 from both sides if you need to, and you get a negative 1. But once you get more familiar with these, you'll be able to pull those numbers out very, very quickly. But now the question is, who is this? Well, a 0 and a negative 1, the only particle that is a negative 1 charge, a negative charge, has to be an electron. Now, electron is uh, one way of saying it. You could also call it a beta particle. They are identical to each other. Now, whether you want to put the E in here for electron or B in here for beta, it does not matter. You'll get full credit for both. I like using beta, right? But you could put E. doesn't matter to me. And this now finally is the answer to this question. So... That's it. That's all I got for you. What'd you think? Let me know in the comments. 
Thank you for viewing the video. I love helping you guys out. And thank you so much for making the channel what it is. If you want to help us out a little bit more, there's memberships on the channel. We just open up if you, you know, one of the tiers suits your fancy. Well, then go right ahead. Thank you so, so much. Have a great day. And I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right. Bye-bye.